Welcome to a bonus video of some extra functions you should know in Excel. So we've already gone through my top seven and here's a few more that might be quite useful when you're working with different data sets. So in this video, we're going to have a look at len, trim, left, right and mid. So a few different ones to play around with there. So let's have a look at len first. Len finds the exact number of characters, including spaces within a cell. So if you've got a set of data, you may be looking at reference numbers or something and you want it to find one that doesn't quite look right, then you might want to pull back some length detail and then you can see if there's anything that you're missing. Do remember it pulls back spaces as well. So I'm going to use this empty column I've got to the right hand side. And I'm going to click in that cell and just like every other function we use, there's a nice, quick, simple, easy way to start typing it in. I don't have to use the formula tab or the FX, but I can use it if I want. All I'm going to do is equals L E N and you'll see len pop up. And then all it needs is the cell that I want to calculate how many characters and spaces are in that cell. It also, if you've got any random spaces in there that you shouldn't have, it will also identify them so you can tidy your data up. So I'm going to select Alice on the left hand side, close my brackets and press enter. And it's given me five back, which is the amount of characters in Alice's name. So I know there's no extra spaces there. And what I can do is I can pull that down again and just check on the length of the rest of my data. So a nice easy one, if you just want to check the information, you might find that a little bit useful. The next one is trim. Now trim removes empty spaces in a cell. So you, if you've got data that's a little bit weird when it's coming, if you've got extra spaces, if you've got spaces at the end of a cell that you might not be able to see, and you could have seen that when you did a len, a length, because it's bigger than what you think. So let me just do this on either. If I just put a few spaces in there and press enter, the length of either has just gone to six because there's some spaces in there and the system counts it. Trim will remove those. So if I go to, if I just remove those that I put in and go to either, and equals and trim, select it and select that name there, close my brackets and enter, it will close it down, it will give me just either there. So it's reduced those spaces, it will pull it out into the new column, but then you can copy and paste those values or do what you want with it to get rid of those empty spaces, which is really useful. Especially if you're going to do a VLOOKUP or you're pulling that data into another system. Okay, let's have a look at another one then. We've got a few here. We've got left, right and mid. So this is where you want to find certain and pull certain parts out about some data that you're looking at. So left is where you're going to pull a number of characters from the left of a, a cell, a data set. So I'm going to start this again by doing an equals and left and I can show you a really great example of this. So when I do that, I then need to tell the system what cell I'm going to look into. Let's look in the order number cell. I'm going to put a comma in and then I need to tell the system how many characters I want it to pull back and it's going to pull it back from the left. So let's do ORD and then the first two numbers so that's going to be five characters i want it to pull back close the bracket and press your enter and you can see it's pulled me back ord 21 in that column and if i pull down you can see i've got different ones there and then i can play around with that data so if you want to pull information from the left maybe the start maybe it could be the area code of a telephone number, something like that, 
the first name or the first letter of the first name something like that you can pull all of that information in really nicely just going to get rid of that and just show you right so you've also not just got left you can equals it right as well click on that one tell the system what cell you want it to look into press your comma and then again tell your system how many cells you want it to bring characters sorry you want it to bring back so i'm going to bring back four because there's four numbers in my order number close the brackets and pull it down and you can just see there it's taken out ORD and I can now just see the numbers that differ in all of those order numbers so really really easy to work that one out as well the final one let's have a quick look very similar is mid so if I want to pull something out from the middle then I can do that as well so let's do equals mid to show you this example. When I click that, I need to again tell the system what cell I'm going to pull that detail from. And then I need to tell the system what starting position. So I'm going to press a comma and let's do the numbers. So I don't want ORD, so I don't want one, two and three. I want four. I want it to start on four. And then I need to tell it how many characters I want it to bring back. So if I do a comma and two and close that brackets, it's brought me back 21. So if I just go back onto that, you can see I've picked the data set, the cell. I've told it where I want it to start and how many characters I want it to bring back. So again, a different way to pull back similar data. And just like I did before, I can pull that down and see all of that information. So that was a few extra functions you might want to use in Excel. Please do check out the rest of the videos in this series. Have a look at the videos on the channel. Please do like and subscribe and do let me know if you want me to record any specific videos.